Hey guys, we're taking a look today at uh, Vanishing Realms' latest update, their second major uh, content update. This one comes with a lot of uh, AI changes. Uh, the skeletons are in three different groups now. Um, they've got a whole bunch of new animations, um, an additional difficulty setting, the Warrior's Challenge, which uh, I played through it last night, lost the footage from that, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, recreate my character, play through that again, uh, but it is a lot more difficult than the original and a lot more fun. Uh, they added a new two-handed weapon, the two-handed axe. That one's a lot of fun too. I highly recommend this game. It's the hands down the best uh, hack and slash melee VR title out there right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Sorry all the achievements except for die a lot and apples but we'll get them again no all right so we'll create a new player space great and i'm back to nothing again so so warrior challenge and we will start I've always felt that this art right here didn't really match up with what you see in-game. Press and hold the thumb pad to aim at the next platform, release to move. It is teleport mechanics, which I wish it had more of an onward-style locomotion, but it it works in this game. It's the a minor complaint for as good as this game is. Trigger with the index finger to grab stuff and put that in my bag because we're going to need those. I don't want to drop it. So give me that back. Yep, yeah, I'll take you too. I threw it. We're good. More fruit. Red wizard needs food badly. Alright. <clears throat> While darkness rules the Mythlands, we immortals are forever banished. Thus do we summon you here, Outlander, to seek our lost legacy. An undead king now holds dark dominion over our sacred island temple. Through, <clears throat> through long ages, this realm of the dead has he filled with stolen treasure and ancient magic. Go forth now, if you dare, into the heart of the temple. Walk darkened halls, seek the undead king, drive him out forever. Do this, Outlander, and you and all you find in gold and magic shall be yours. So weird, creepy pathway up into spinning uh, vortex of death portal. Yeah, sure, let's jump in. I really do like the environments in this game. It really feels like um, you're dropped right into a Zelda game, like a link to the past and you're right there in one of those dungeons. It has that same feel. Money. We'll take all of that, thank you. Fair warning, I am a loot whore. I will pick up all of the gold. Those don't look healthy. The 
to stay away from them. Footsteps in the dust. In dust. Whatever. Fire. That was me, sorry. Gem a chalice, buried deep silent watchers, undying sleep with crown of bones, rusted ring in darkness stirs, forgotten king. Light all of the candles, grab all of the gold, and all of these things are now interactable, and they burn stuff. And if you go out of bounds even just a little bit, it pauses as a screen for you. Okay. Let's grab this guy in here. Light all the things. Oh, hey look, money. That was a light that I just broke. Be wary of your surroundings. Do not break things. Alright, so the first time I came through here, um, last night, I bent down to light that candle. That's a that's a shitty trap. And I was standing on it when that happened. Which I don't remember if that was part of the original release or not. But standing on that will kill you. Very quickly. And we have money. And we like the candle. Was anything in these? No, yes, it was. Jealous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, you. Throw you away. Keys. Thank you. I mean, Zelda games, you throw pots, right? All the torches. And unlock the door. No. Hey, buddy. Where you going? Warned you, I'm a Lotor. Like this. So all of these fabric things are flammable. Feather potion red in altar set ablaze, burning wards of the dead, ashes fall on sunless maze. Let us set the sky on fire. And
Sorry, dude. Thanks. Almost got him. Oh, shh. Seriously? There we go. That gets much easier when I get the bow. Money. Thank you. You got something for me? No, you suck. No, light all these. Get that candle achievement. And I just like setting things on fire. Papers on fire, but you can't set the books on fire. Something seems wrong with that. So all of them. So a lot more uh, interactables this time. I don't remember most of that being interactable. And you just take your torch and start smacking stuff. grab the feather. The whole thing I came in here for. Huh. I wonder if I got those last time. Money. might be what I was missing to get the better sword. Alright. It's all of the gold in here. Grab the bone. I don't know where that one came from. But I'll take it. Yeah, that's me. It's okay. Go back to sleep. That looks ominous. stuff in there, so I'm going to crawl over there. Thank you. He doesn't need this anymore. Let's light these candles. Brothers come seek me, beyond sleeping white, for secret once lost have I found. The hammer we forge rings true by moonlight, bringing gold beyond dreams from the ground. Let's climb over 
here, and hopefully he's gone. <clears throat> Grab this rock, because we've got a chalice up there to smack. Now that I burn out enough. from him because we have no weapons at the moment. The other strength upon these grounds, immortal straight steel for treasure found. Let's see. I have 456 which is enough for the broadsword instead of the steel sword. wasn't exactly shooting it, but I'll take it. Who now will light high signal fire on Winsep Cliff alone? To remember well, father's lost. In battle, no mortal has won. If rekindled blaze shines by night, to burn away old rust and bone, gods of the right send ray of starlight to call the hero home. And I will take him. Here is just the portal for exiting later. So I'm pretty sure he wasn't standing there, so who moved him? Yep. 
you actually have to swing your sword, which is one of the things that I like. This stuff doesn't work. It's not very effectively. Occasionally you get lucky. Alright, now let's go play with the guy that I let out. Without a shield. do they have more health, but they actually do block more. That's a whole lot of death by fire down there. I've already got one. On the floor. Gold. Make sure we light all the candles. And grab all the food. Missing anything aside from all of this gold? Yes, we are missing something. Uh, almost got it. And that's everything from here. So let's. We light these guys. I don't know if that counts or not. Which ones I missed. Right. And Maseki. Health. Break me. Okay. No. Oh, maybe if I stand in the center. Much nicer. The other sword takes two or three hits. It's definitely worth it to find all the gold to get this guy. Water in the deep. Screw your banners. Lever. Money. Chalice. Why is the water sparkly? Gather strength upon these grounds, immortals trade magic for treasure found. Sure, why not? Grave robbing now. He doesn't need that. Take those, because I'm a horrible person.
Does this guy have money? No, he wasn't a guy. He was just a skull. It's like two inches of water. Let me in. And nothing back there. Um, yeah, I probably don't need another health potion. He says until he fights the enemies down there and starts dying left and right. I like that you're rewarded for exploring and looking all, in all the little nooks and crannies. Did I get that? I guess I did. I don't see it. You already asked that, didn't you? Leave the sleeping to a dying dreams. No, I think I'm good. You got gold in here. These are probably the ugliest grapes I've ever seen. Shield, can I have it? I seem to be missing one. Foreshadowing.
Thank you. Oh, there's one over there too. Hey look, more foreshadowing. Hey, my shield finally. for now. in here.
bodies. So I found what works best is pulling your, your shield in, not so much having it like out here ready to block, but having it in close to your body, and then kind of bend your knees and get low. Sort of angle into any attack. The reason you want to get low is because they'll do this underhand. Less talking, more fighting. They'll do an underhand attack that'll go under your shield, and that gets you if you're standing up too tall. And once you've got them off balance, you can press the attack, and if you hit them a couple of times in a row, they'll back off and uh, get their guard back up again. See, like that. Then sometimes they just yell in your face because they're idiots. Ooh, he was loaded. So that I'm already sweating a bit. The the fighting actually does end up being a good workout. That was that underhanded attack. It's all about counterattacks. And exploiting the weakness. Part of it is learning the telegraphs, too. There's been a lot of attention to detail with this game. I think that's going to do it for the first video. Uh, I will pick up here in the next video. Uh, if you guys uh, like the game, like the video, uh, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, comment down below, let me know what you want to see. Uh, I really do uh, enjoy this game a lot. It's really fun. Um, I'd really love to see more of this game. Um, we didn't get into uh, any of the updated content that will come in the next video. So stay tuned for part two. See you guys later.